fellow compatriots, this is your host Tribuchon here, and today we are going to be taking a look at Full Tilt, which is the black box for Trypticon, or like you might remember him as, the little purple card that used to come with Trypticon, and if you do not remember his name, his name is Full Tilt, you heartless monsters. But anyways, when making this build, I wanted to go ahead and try to see if I could do better than the Iron Man figure that LEGO did because it's like, you know, the buildable figure is alright that LEGO made, but it could be a little bit better. So I was like, okay, so what do I do to go ahead and make something better? And then, I kid you not, right when like February hit, you know, rumors started launching off about a Optimus Prime that LEGO was making because they just joined with Hasbro and I was like, Ah, this has to be a good transformer. So without any further ado, let's go into the meet and greedy and show you my first Lego transformer. The first one. This is my first ever Lego transformer. So inexperience is definitely a big factor, but I did try my best. But anyways, let's go ahead and straight into it. Now, before we get into articulation and functions let's figure out how big this car mode actually is because i think that's a very important contingent here so full tilt from bumper to bumper is about seven inches long and the centimeter measurement will be up in the corner and to the height of the figure it is about approximately uh, Three and a quarter inches tall, and the centimeter measurement will be up in the corner as well. Okay, let's go straight into it. Now, it does do to do to do. It, it scrapes a little bit, but that's due to clearance issues. There's a gear on the top. It does nothing. It just spins. Spin. But, got this nice silver bumper. Very shiny. Very shiny. Shiny bumper. Uh, there's no doors <laughs> because I ran out of purple. <laughs> this guy is very purple, so I was, I was trying my best. I was trying my best. I didn't have enough purple for doors, so my my personal bias is, you know what? On Cybertron, we do, they do not need doors. Why do they ever need doors? They do not. No one is driving them. No one. Unless, by some miracle, there is a Transformer out there that has many cons that drives him around. I'm looking at you, Armada Sideways. I'm looking at you. <laughs> but <laughs> regardless, uh, let, let's go ahead straight into like another accessory that he does have. Uh, well, actually, no. I'll, I'll hold off on the accessory. Let's go straight into transformation, shall we? Let's. And there we have Transformers Full Tilt. Uh, it was a pretty intuitive transformation, I would say. But regardless, let's figure out how tall this guy actually is in his new 
configuration, shall we? So full tilt stands roughly about to the top of his head. Uh, seven and a half inches tall and the center mirror measurement will be up in the corner to the tippy top of his um, roof cab it is seven and three-fourths of an inch tall and the center mirror measurement will be up in the corner as well okay let's go straight into articulation now full tilt never had feet he, he was one of those sad boys that never had feet he, he just had stompers so this toy also has stompers uh, but regardless of the lack of feet movement, he does have a full curl, as you can tell, due to the transformation, which means you can go ahead and bend his legs all the way up this far, do a full curl if you need to. Yes, that's right. Despite the sculpt that I did, you still can make him like posable and stuff like that. And on top of that, he has leg spread, which means because he has leg spread and with the addition of like the waist swivel, which goes, which I must add all the way around. So there we go. And bowl joint in the shoulders, uh, mixel joint here and mixel joint here. So you've got plenty of movement, especially for the hands. I kept the hands simple. I didn't need to give him articulated fingers. He's just a fun toy as it is, but because he's so articulated and despite him not having any feet, you can still get him to do like dynamic ace stances and so forth, you know, and he still holds himself up pretty well, all things considered. Hope if I can get it work. Yeah, there we go. He does the ace stance pretty well. If I do say so myself, he does an ace stance pretty well. <laughs> so he can do like the Hamilton pose kind of thing. Uh, he can also do like other poses as well, you know, with very little effort because, you know, I wanted to be like the Iron Man biddable figure where, you know, you could just put him in any pose and he does, does an okay job at it, you know. So let me twist the waist here, bend this down. Basically any pose that you're thinking of, he could probably pull it off. Except for the Iron Man pose, apparently, because he, uh, due to his anatomy, uh, his legs are super long and his arms are really short because it's going for the big robot aesthetic. Usually when it comes to like big robot aesthetics, it usually has humongous legs and small arms and a small head uh, so that it looks bigger than it actually is. So that's part of the reason why he can't do the the Iron Man pose because he's not in human proportions. He's in Transformer proportions, if that makes any sense. Cybertronian proportions. Because he does have really long legs. And that's part of the aesthetic when it comes to Transformers. But regardless, he does have a few accessories. And by the way, this is what he looks like in the back. Not too shabby. I really like that piece, which is why I wanted to use it. But he does have some accessories, so let's go into that. He comes with a Energon sword. He never had a sword, but I I love this character. He's just so purple and turns into a car. I just love the character. And also, he ended up being the captain of an entire ship, which used to be his, his best friend, Trypticon. Which is kind of sad, but, you know, he, he, this man is committed to make sure Trypticon comes back no matter what. He, he has commitment, but he can hold the sword pretty well. And if you go ahead and rub the gear, he has a arm. Swinging function. Yep, he has an arm swing function. Just like Knight's Kingdom. I wanted to go ahead and do something like Knight's Kingdom where, you know, it has a gear function. Because, you know, buildable figures, I feel like, sometimes need some gear functions. Because it's good to, for them to have gear functions. And I just had... And this thing is made out of bricks. And because it's made out of Lego bricks, it can be a little bit brittle. But that's what you expect when you go ahead and try to build something out of bricks. But I tried to make it as stable as I can. <laughs> Despite it being made out of bricks. Now he does have another accessory as well. He also has a 
a gun, which he did, which the t original toy did have. There's no placement for it in in car mode, but you can put it on his arm, and of course, it does fire some some bullets. Fires two of these. You can load them up in the gun, just like so. And oh, oh. again, it's me out bricks. I do not like bricks. I like Technic. <laughs> but regardless, I'm trying new things, trying new things. But uh, despite uh, the, how big the gun is, he can still hold the weapons just fine. And you can put him in a lot of uh, diverse um, poses if you really want him to be. So let's go ahead and see if I can go ahead and put him in a cool pose. If he can hold it i've been playing with this figure a lot so his joints are a little bit on the loose side but that's that's me mostly due to me um <laughs> mostly due to me doing my own thing <laughs> but yeah he can he can hold a pose he can hold a pose he looks cool i love car bots they're awesome but of course, let's go straight into size comparison, shall we? Uh, because that's what you've all came here for. How big he actually is compared to, like, other figures. Which we shall do. Here he is compared to good guy, the chance of chats. He will be your husband. Whoop! Here he is with bad guy, and he will kill your husband. Whoop! Here he is compared to a minifig. So you got a size comparison with a minifig. Whoop! And here he is with Voyager class Cyclone. It's from Transformers Kingdom. And if you do not get it, do not have him, you need to have him in your collection because he is a amazing, amazing Transformer. One of my favorite figures. This guy. This guy. But, as you can see, Full Tilt is kind of Voyager scale. The current Voyager scale. I remember when Voyagers used to be way bigger uh, a decade ago. <laughs> but, yeah. So, a lot bigger. A lot, uh, slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Whoop. And here he is compared to a mech. That hopefully you guys have, but as you can see, compared to other biddable figures, you know, that, that that's how he looks compared to a mech. I really like this mech, but it could use some waist articulation, better ankles maybe, but I love this mech. This is a beautiful mech, but... There's full tilt compared to Zane's mech. I, I I can't whoop it, but I can just gracefully pick it up. And that right there is Transformers full tilt. I hope you guys like the the mock. You know, I, I certainly had fun building it. It it took me a while, but have fun building it. Oh, and also I forgot like another thing you can do with this gun. I forgot it another thing you can also plug in the other arm i just don't because there is no friction in the gear function so it just sags and the gun breaks <laughs> the gun breaks uh lego bricks gotta love bricks gotta love bricks bricks are amazing I love bricks there we go but yeah so that is full tilt i hope you guys enjoyed and like always if you want to leave a like be sure to leave a like and if you want to if you like this video be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more content like this feel free to subscribe but anyways uh, that's about it for now so follow me on any social media outlets links down in the description down below as you can see and as full tilt can see as well but anyways that is all for now so i'll see you all in the next video Bye!